those allegedly responsible for the attacks of September the 11th will finally face justice. They will be brought to New York, to New York, to answer for their alleged crimes in a courthouse just blocks away from where the Twin Towers once stood. Now, unfortunately, since I made that decision, members of Congress have intervened and imposed restrictions blocking the administration from bringing any Guantanamo detainees to trial in the United States, regardless of the venue. That was Attorney General Eric Holder two years ago when he first announced that the masterminds of the September 11th attacks would face trial just blocks away from ground zero. Now, the administration reversed that decision after facing major and necessary political backlash. And here we are yet again because we're now learning that after pleading not guilty to charges of conspiracy to kill Americans, the son-in-law of Osama bin Laden, Suleiman Abu Ghaith, will be tried right here in New York City. Now, didn't the administration learn anything two years ago? Well, apparently not, because despite the fact that Gitmo remains open for business, the president has made the reckless decision to endanger the city of New York and give rights to an al-Qaeda spokesman in a civilian court. Pretty unreal. Here with reaction from the American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow, and defense's attorney, uh, Jeff Gold. All right, Jay, wait a minute. Yes, Enemy sir. combatant obviously at war with the United States, spokesman for al-Qaeda and bin Laden. Why? Are they that hell-bent on giving rights to non-Americans uh, and Mirandizing them so we don't learn anything? So, so think about this for a moment. If you had Adolf Eichmann in World War II and his son-in-law was the spokesperson for the Nazi regime and for Eichmann, and uh, he was captured on the battlefield or in, in flight, which is what happened here, would we then want him tried in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of New York? Of course not. That's ridiculous. We want him to be given the right to remain silent? Absolutely not. So this idea that we're somehow showing the world that we're better than everybody else by trying a 9-11 conspirator in the United States puts New York at risk, and I, frankly, it puts our entire system at risk because that's why you have military tribunals, that's why you have military commissions, and this is this dual conflict that the administration uh, seems to be well, constantly in, Sean. I, I wrote about this on an editor op-ed for foxnews.com. It's the, it, I call it the Obama doctrine. You know, you could use drones against American citizens uh, overseas, and I understand all that. We, we, okay, but you can use, you can knock out an American with a drone, but we capture an al-Qaeda operative who was the spokesperson for al-Qaeda, and we're going to try him in the U.S. District Court in the Eastern District of New York, to me, is ridiculous. It makes, it makes, all right, Jeff, here's my question for you, because the president, uh, Joe Biden, they were bragging all throughout the election campaign. They, they got bin Laden, but for enhanced interrogation, they didn't get bin Laden. Because I interviewed Jose Rodriguez. He was there for the enhanced interrogations. And he said, without that intelligence, we wouldn't have found the courier and his nickname that led to the real person that led to bin Laden. So don't you think we'd be better off interrogating this guy without letting him lawyer up, without giving him the rights of American citizens for our own safety and security? Well, my guess is, is that we have, is that we had a parallel track to the criminal where the CIA or operatives did interrogate them before they brought him over. You know, it seems to me there Jack, must have minute, been a deal with diplomatic... He has the right to remain silent. Right now he has the right... He now has the right of an American citizen now, and a right now, to an but attorney. not necessarily then. Well, not but necessarily then, then Sean. but you know what? Over a period of time, these guys crack. These guys break. And they might finally I, give I information a, to save American citizens' lives. What's better for the American people? Look, I think he was of low value in the sense he's been hanging around since 2002 without much connection, apparently, to How do you know? He How do he you? You don't know that. He was the that, 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 no, he was the spokesperson then. He was uh, on house arrest or in prison in Iran for most of this time. Look, we don't know, but I think that the CIA He's is sitting smart next to bin Laden. I've got images of this guy sitting right next to bin Laden. Well, you know, look, the object here is, are you going to put him in Gitmo and try him where, where there's been thousands of people and only seven were convicted and almost all of those were nullified Now, we can try overturned. him after we dunk his head in water a few times and maybe get some information I, out of the guy. Well, let, let my me... Bet, can my I ask bet this is question? he was, what, Sean. We, we, my bet the is guy's they, now they Mirandized. Did. Go ahead, Jay. That, that's but, now. But, Sean, he's been... And, I, and I'm going to ask this, Jeff, too. I mean, he's been Mirandized now. So, yes, yeah, statements that he said before uh, are not admissible against him. He's been Mirandized. 
So what happens if the government can't vote. prove we... its case now that all these admissions and all these statements can't be admitted? Or what do we have to do? Pull people off wait, the battlefield wait to be minute, the witnesses on this? Wait, We're going to try okay, him look, in a courtroom. But bottom line, no. I mean, I'm asking you a question. You're, we're both trial lawyers. How do you do that? Of what do you do if he's found not guilty? terrorists tried in the Southern District of New York. 100% of them have been convicted. If I had my choice, so you I'd think have he's convicted him already? in the basement. I'd have him in the pool by the uh, uh, right. World Trade Jeff, Center. Wait a minute. You're let not the answering. You didn't answer Jay's point. Guy. Jay's point is quite relevant to the discussion. Anything, any information he gave, now right. that he's been Mirandized, none of this can be used. So you tell you, you tell us, you know, what benefit is that? to anybody here, right. and now he gets to clam well, up. Well, again, anybody sophisticated in this is, is sense would know that, A, they have a track for intelligence. They could care less whether they convict him or not. They just want the intelligence. Is he I'm an sure enemy combatant? But now we put that him already. in a civil court, though. We put him in a, criminal, in a civil That's civilian now. court. But we so if you don't convict him, what do you do with him? Have. He's found not guilty. Look. What do you do? Look, this guy is not of that great do? value. And if walk? he is of value, we already know what he knows. All right, wait, all right. But now okay, here's, so here's the next question. Why, not wait, because why we does he get any the, of the evidence? Okay. What happens then if Mr. Criminal Pursuit, you're a good criminal defense lawyer. I've done criminal defense too. What do we do if they can't why convict him? He's found not guilty. You let him walk? Look, he's not going to walk. I'm a former prosecutor as Do well. Let him walk if he's found not guilty. A hundred percent of the terrorists tried in the Southern District of New York. So this is just convicted. a show for the Obama administration. Wait, 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 why should he? Well, he shouldn't be. he's charged with conspiracy. He wasn't on the battlefield. He wasn't a combatant at the time. And he's the on the field with Bin Laden. I've got video evidence we'll of it. Him and we'll put him away behind bars He's got now. a gun. Put the picture up again. He's got a picture exactly of a I gun a standing trial. next to Bin Laden. That's not the battlefield to you? Trial. He will never get out of jail. Mark my words. Oh, mark your words. I feel so he great. He should be in a civil, civilian yeah, court Mr. The Terrorist, place. you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against yeah. you in the court. And by the way, if you can't afford an attorney, the American taxpayers, they'll suck it we'll up and pay for it. for it for you. All right, coming up <laughs> right. next, breaking news.